Hey guys, Dan Hellman, back with another video. It's been a little bit since I've posted. I've uh, been, a, I don't know, about a week or so. I've just been uh, super busy and a bit, uh, you know, depressed and kind of bored of, of the markets lately. I've been trying to do a little bit of um, leverage trading. It's gone okay. Um, I got some links below if you want to try any of the leverage trading or any of the other exchanges, so feel free to use those. But uh, all right, today we're going to be talking about some FUD that happened about two days ago. Um, with the U.S. moving a bunch of Bitcoin to Coinbase. Now, I have a feeling that this is probably what's kind of been affecting the price recently, because if we look at just the overall market sentiment, right, if we go look at stocks, they're up. They're doing great, right? Um, all of these, uh, you know, GBTC, FBTC, FETH, these are all up as well on the daily between today and yesterday. Um Coinbase, you know, up 3%. So clearly people are very bullish on cryptocurrency in general. Um, clearly, there's a lot of bullish people on this, uh, on all of cryptocurrency right now. So it seems odd that the price has just been going down recently, right? I mean, we've been in basically a bear market. If we go to um, the weekly chart here, we've been basically in a bear market since what? Um, March 11th, basically, we've just been going straight down. Um, obviously, this is a bull flag or a descending channel. So it's, it's technically a good thing. But still, the price has been going down for, um, you know, five months now. So so almost six months. So it's been a very long time. The price has been going down, although all the news, all the adoption, all of the, you know, technicals and everything about Bitcoin is still the same, if not even more bullish than previously. And, uh, you know, we got the fear and greed index very low as well. And I think this is part of the um part of the problem here. So if we go to the fear and greed index and we pull up this right here, you can see we are still in fear um, and we've been in fear for quite some time. You know, we've been just very, very fearful. Have we been in the very fearful yet um ultimate fear whatever they call it in this one? Um, you know, it, it's basically since August 6th, we've been very low um august 8th very low as well and then we're still kind of just trending into this lower zone now if we look at like you know a three month you can see we're in one of the lowest portions besides um that august 6th uh time frame we're in basically one of the biggest fear of all time um you can see again august 6th was kind of marking the bottom of this but if we go max here let's see what we got going on so if you look at um right before so here is the 2021 bull market you can see usually what happens is we go down into this very very fearful zone and then we go back up right into the bull market now um interesting because you know we kind of went to an all-time high so we had the greed index quite high but now we're straight back into fear again so and i think this is this is a big portion of it right so let's just kind of go through what happened here and um why it's affecting the price right so we had 10,000 Bitcoin seized from Silk Road, moved over to Coinbase. Um, so Coinbase Prime. Um, Prime is like the, I believe Prime is the very big spender. Uh, I think you have to have like a couple million dollars. I think it's $10 million to get into Coinbase Prime, if I'm not mistaken. That's what it used to be at least um, a while ago. So I don't know if they've changed that. But basically, like a separate section for the big whales in Coinbase. Um, and you can see basically they had 10,000 moved over there, $600 million. So thankfully, they didn't move all of it. So they do own 50,000 Bitcoin. So that's good. They didn't move all of it. But it's kind of interesting because, you know, Trump gets up and talks and says, we need to be holding our Bitcoin because, you know, we could eventually use this to pay off some of our debt. And Bitcoin is the future. We want to make America the center of Bitcoin. And then the U.S. government, basically right after that, you know, maybe a couple of weeks after that, maybe a week after that, they decided that they're going to move it all to Coinbase to get rid of it. And it just seems like they almost did that just to spite Trump. Um, maybe I don't even know who is in charge of this. I don't know. Um, does it say who's in charge of this? So if we go through and read this whole thing, which I have not read yet, um, I just kind of wanted to show you some articles about this just to kind of uh, prove what I'm talking about instead of me just talking while looking at a chart. But um, I don't actually know. So it just says the government intends to sell off the Bitcoin if we uh, click at this. Um, I don't even know. Does it say who's even uh, in charge of it? Um, government selling Bitcoin is overrated. So I don't know. It's going to be really interesting. You know, there's a lot of FUD that comes out right now just because the fear, the general feel, fear in the market is high. So I don't know. I'll link these um, these articles below if I remember to do so. But um, yeah, I just want to talk about it because I do feel like this is kind of what's causing the price uh, to, to go down. Right. So um, 
hopefully this ends up being one of the the lows here this uh, 59 200 I really hope we don't see anything different than that um, I feel like we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble if we kind of uh, if we break below any of these numbers here especially this 49,000 if we break that there's um, I think nothing good to follow after that but um, we basically been working into this channel here um, and basically what it seems like is we hit this very bottom of this second you have a kind of like a broader open wedge here and then you have a descending channel in the middle and we hit the very bottom of this look at this candle the most amount of wick the amount of wick on this is just insane so and then when we came into this uh channel the second time here basically what happened well, i'll go back to the daily that made a little bit more sense here uh, maybe we'll hide all this stuff on here oh no i need my channel i need my channel okay so we had the channel come through and we basically went up and we hit the middle part of this channel that we've been trading on trading inside since march this descending channel we hit the middle zone of it and then we went right back we almost touched the bottom and now we're going back up so hopefully we have enough momentum this time to blast through here um we'll have to see but it's uh i find it kind of interesting that the prices move almost identically depending you know regardless of the exchange i find that interesting does anyone know why that is comment below because you would think that you'd see slightly different prices i guess they're very slightly different you got 58 672 58 739 but it's interesting that the drops happen at exactly the same time because you would think if uh this is coinbase by the way and the second chart is bitfinex you would think if the government is selling on coinbase you would see the price drop a lot on coinbase excuse me but not other exchanges I find that odd. I don't know how that works. I don't know how liquidity is transferred between exchanges because um, I know that's a kind of a long process, right? To transfer back and forth between exchanges usually takes, you know, a couple of days. Um, like when you transfer into Coinbase, you have to wait, I think, seven days to remove it again. So I don't really know how that works. I find that kind of interesting. Comment below if, uh, you know, if you know how that works. But I don't know. It's interesting. The price has been going down, even though everyone is more and more bullish. Now, um, I think that's really interesting. Now, who knows what's going on? Hopefully, we can get a nice little Bitcoin pump up. Um, this is Bitcoin dominance. So there are some people who believe that if Bitcoin dominance can hit 60%, that marks the beginning of the altcoin season. So I have a line here at the 60%. We'll see if that happens. If this channel holds, um, that means by basically November 5th, November 4th of this year, maybe we'll start an altcoin rally. Um, altcoin rallies, depending on the cycle, are either really crazy or really not that crazy. So it kind of just depends on the cycle. Um, I feel like the, the first cycle that I was a part of in 2017, the altcoin rally was quite insane. But after the rally, they kind of go straight back to zero so if if you're up a lot on your altcoins in the future i would suggest taking some profits i've made a lot of mistakes in the past of not taking my profits i've seen some insane profits and then let them dwindle down to nothing so um yeah i'm gonna try to learn from my mistake this cycle but uh, anyways i just wanted to talk about kind of the news with this um 10k bitcoin and getting a lot of that sold it's really unfortunate um especially if they're gonna sell all this and then, you know, the price is going to go up two to three X by the end of, you know, this year or next year. And that's going to be that. And, you know, they're going to have to they're going to lose out on all of those profits from selling now early. But maybe that's a good thing, because if they sell it now, there's nothing in the way later for FUD. So if all this Bitcoin is gone now, maybe that gives more time for the bull market to expand to a higher number because there won't be that selling pressure from the U.S. government. I don't know. Maybe it'll end up being a good thing. Who knows? But uh, all right, comment below. What do you guys think? Um, stay in there. Hang in there, guys. We're, uh, we're moving up, um, hopefully, in a more macro scale. I would love to see something start again. Uh, my next video will be a price prediction. I've done a little bit more uh, math and drawn some pretty charts for you. So we're going to try to um, get a video on that as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and join the Discord if you want. I have a Discord. Uh, there's only a couple of people... Uh, there's only a couple of us talking in there, but it's kind of a fun place just to chat. I've been throwing a lot of memes in the channel and stuff like that. So if you want to talk... Uh, you know, hang out in Discord. Uh, feel free to join. The link's in the description as well. And uh, if you want to sign up and buy any crypto anywhere, um, use the links below as well. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, hit that like and that subscribe button if you're not already. And have a great weekend. And good luck out there, guys. Um, 
Stock market will close in a couple hours, but of course for us uh, crypto guys, um, we'll have a while. And ooh, we got some price movement right now as we finish this video. Let's freaking go. I've been trying, to, we've been trying to break this channel right here for quite some time. Here's a couple tops. Um, please don't double top. We had a double bottom though, so I don't know. If we can break this, I think we're kind of free sailing if we can get out of these uh, couple channels here and back above this 50%, I think we're gonna be sitting really pretty. Maybe today's the day, who knows? Uh, that's it for the video. Again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great weekend. See you guys.